In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the script's eye contact feature to simulate eye contact even when you're reading from a script. This is the video I'll use to demonstrate how you can use the script's eye contact feature to fix your gaze onto the camera even when you're not looking into the camera. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, to begin, I'm going to open up the script and then I'm going to go to new video project. And this is going to bring me to a new project window where I'm actually going to add my video and make the necessary edits that I need to do before we begin. So I'm actually going to click on media and just drag and drop my sample video here. Now that's already there and I can insert it into the script. Now it's going to automatically start transcribing. And since everything is okay here, I'm going to click on done. The reason why you may need to use the eye contact feature in the script is probably you are reading from a script, but you want people to think you are looking into the camera. It's going to help you with that. And also you could be distracted slightly, uh, maybe by something and you want to fix that. You can use the script eye contact feature to fix some of those issues that may happen. Now our video is almost done transcribing. So we can just give it a couple of seconds and I can just click on show timeline here. And there we have our transcript. Uh, if I actually play this video. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the script's eye contact feature to simulate eye contact even when... You can notice that there's an issue here. So we can highlight this, this particular issue here and correct the scripts. Correct. So that looks good. Now, our video is ready. It's on the timeline. Let's work or add the eye contact feature to it. I'll select the video and you can make selections from the canvas, the timeline, or from the layer on the sidebar here. I'll click on it. And once you do that, you're going to see a bunch of options activate. Of importance to us is the effects tab here. And I'll click on the plus. You'll see a bunch of effects, but of importance is the eye contact feature. Now, this feature requires an active internet connection. So you need to be connected to the internet to be able to use the eye contact feature. I'll click on it to apply the eye contact feature to my video to fix my gaze straight into the camera. And the reason why you need an internet connection is that your video is going to be uploaded onto the script servers and they're going to apply the effect and download a new video that has your gaze looking straight forward. So this is something you need to take a note and you can already see that the effect has already been applied. I'm looking straight into the camera and you wouldn't know that I was looking or reading from a script. So it's super awesome. Now I can turn it on or off. It's off. It's on. It's off. It's on. Super, super handy, especially if you want to fix some of those issues a gaze and so on and so forth. Now, this is super awesome, but it also depends on how large your file is. Uh, that is how long the processing time is going to take. One thing I'd like you to take a note of is if you'd like to turn off the eye contact feature in a couple of sections, all you need to do is just add a scene. Now, a scene is more or less like a demarcation. For example, this is a scene. Let's say we want to add a scene here. I can just click on this and then click on this. Once I do that, you'll see a new scene and then I can close out that particular scene to add another scene here so that in this scene, if I actually select it there, I can actually have this uh, particular section right there. And you'll see that our eye contact is going to be active here. I can turn it off. So if I actually play my video from the beginning, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the scripts. You can see when it gets to scene number two, it goes back to when we don't have the eye contact feature on. This is really handy, especially when you have scenarios where maybe you are just distracted for a short time and you have everything okay. It's just that you wanted to fix that one particular section. So that's really, really handy. Moving forward, I'd like us to look at the best practices to achieve the best results with the eye contact feature in the script. Now, for the best results, the eye contact feature should only be used on one person. If there are many people uh, around, then this is not going to work really well. And for that one person, 
the eyes should be clearly visible. Next up, you should always avoid excessive movement in your video because this is actually going to mess up with the AI and you'll probably see maybe eyes go or eyes applied to different parts of the body that they should not be applied. Next up, if applicable, use studio lighting or other well-balanced lighting setups instead of backlighting for optimal results to at least have a well-illuminated face so that the AI can easily match your gaze or and align it to where it needs to be. Next up, you need to minimize extreme angles between the face and the camera. A straight on shot, uh, like what I had in my video, uh, is what you should actually uh, purpose to get. And then if somebody wears glasses, these may affect the eye contact effect. Now, those are some of the few best practices. Let's finally look at the uh, before and after of this particular eye contact effect. So it's off at the beginning of the video and it's on. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the script's eye contact feature to simulate eye contact even when you're reading from a script. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the script's eye contact feature to simulate eye contact even when you're reading from a script. That's it for me. I hope this video is of value to you and that is how you can use the script's eye contact feature to fix your gaze onto the camera even when you're reading from a script. Thanks for watching.